Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. Now, still celebrating my birthday day, counting down to my 40th birthday. I've picked something very special to review tonight. Something distilled in 1984. And I'm going to sample this little bit of Highland Park. Bottled by Douglas Lane. Distilled in 1984 and bottled in around 2013. So a 28 year old single malt whiskey bottled at 48.5% ABV. Now this particular samples and for those of you who do follow the channel, I did a review of four whiskies distilled in 1984. Now I can't remember how long ago that was, probably two years ago. But during one of the COVID lockdowns, a good friend of mine alerted me to these people, the Old Alliance, famous whiskey bar in Singapore, and how during the lockdown, to get more income on Zooming, they started selling their high quality whiskies, the bottles they've had open, by Little Dram. So I bought a box of eight of them. Why wouldn't you? You know, 1984, a long time ago. And it kind of gives me a window and two more drams from 1984 and which is something i've been doing for a long time if i go to a good whiskey bar and i see some drams from my birthday i always get into it so it came in this little box like that but also what i really liked was it came with this little picture with a lineup of all of the whiskies i bought a little dram for and i thought that was a really good touch and i really cherish this picture and i hope to go to the old alliance when i can start traveling again and came in a little jar like that. Now, I did make some notes because I don't have the bottle on hand. As I say, 1984, cast number 9968, bottled by Douglas Lane, under the Director's Cut bottling, which is kind of the older, more prestigious bottling. Very few whiskies make that cut. It is the Director's Cut, after all. But yeah, bottled in September 2013, 133 bottles were produced, 133 only. But what it doesn't say is cast type, but that doesn't matter because this is Highland Park and I love Highland Park. After doing a masterclass with a global ambassador, Martin, I just have deeply fallen in love with everything Highland Park. And it is a great treat to try a 28 year old single malt whiskey. You would also notice I'm not doing the review in my demo Lily because this is only a 15 mil sample. <laughs> The demo lighting being a bigger glass, I think I won't be able to even see the drama in here. So, and it goes into my tiny little tasting glass, which we'll have to do. I love these bottles as well. I've got to find out how to get some of these in New Zealand. Especially because it comes with this big ring on it. Alright, now the whiskey is out. So I currently have no knowledge about the cast type. Obviously, we can see. It's relatively young, sorry, not young, very light in color, very, very light, very, very. So I'm leaning towards an experiment cask as an educated guest, purely going by its natural color. So let's nose it. And I am so excited because if you saw the videos previous, the Manic Moor was a total dud. And then the young Mort Lark was just a champion, a champion whiskey. So now on to one of my favorite Scotch whiskey distilleries, Highland Park. All right. Oh, sweet. So it's just a tiny hint of honey and just the slightest hint of smoke on the nose. Oh. It seems quite oily on the nose as well. The kind of baked apple character is there on the nose. Oh yeah. Bit of that oak character. The smoke is very, very light, very gentle, almost like a, and this is going to be a weird thing to say, almost like a morning after a big campfire, or if you've been sitting around a fire with some mates, listening to some music, or maybe singing, and then when you come back in the morning and there's just a little bit of that smoky character still in the air from the evening before. That's what I'm getting. Very gentle smoke. 
but very sweet as well. Really good. So good. Not a doubt so far on the nose. It is absolute stunner on the nose so far. Right, let's taste it. Mmm. <laughs> that smoky note on the palate is a lot more prominent it's not super aggressive but it is quite strong and the honeyed sweetness came before and now i'm back at the palate i'm getting that sort of baked apple character now a little bit of sort of oak maybe the slightest hint of spice is this spice but reasonably oily on the palate as well. And that's what I like about long age Scotch whiskies. But also the ones that have been bottled at an appropriate ABV. It's not been butchered down to 40%. 48.5% is still quite a lot. But really good. Like my palate is just covered with gentle smoke. The sweetness. Oh, so good. So good. What a way to celebrate the 40th birthday week two out of three are stunners this is just so good really really good unfortunately i'm not going to get a bottle i highly doubt i'll find this particular bottle only 133 were, were released but if you have a bottle and you've tried it maybe you're watching this review and you paid a lot of money for this bottle let me tell you you bought a really really good bottle and i do hope you open it one day and try it and if you've already opened it cheers to your good health Mmm, really, really good. Wow, there's just a hint of tropical fruit character as well. Just towards the end, as it's developing more and more on my palate. Oh, <laughs> really good. I wish I had more of it. There's not a lot left. It's only 15 mil sample. These were quite expensive. For memory, most of them around... 29 30 singapore dollars for a 15 mil dram i thought 15 would be enough to give an idea of the whiskey but allowed me to get eight of them instead of perhaps three or four but really really good stuff i'm not sure if they're still doing this program maybe because i'm in covid lockdowns finished a while ago so hopefully these guys are back you know having a roaring trade and not having to do the sample thing i'll check on it you know if there's more available because it'd be good to get more samples from my birth year that's all i've got to say about this particular whiskey if you are liking the content please like share and subscribe otherwise i'll see you in the very near future with another whiskey review see you later bye bye